What's up, YouTube? Another John boat we got here. For everybody watching out there that uh, already follow me, I appreciate it. Thanks for all the support. For anybody that uh, is watching this video and doesn't follow the channel, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. I promise we do pretty cool stuff around here. Worth watching, maybe, if you enjoy that kind of stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and get to it. So. Today we're working on this 20 foot G3 aluminum boat. Customer brought it to me because it has a hole in the bottom. And the reason for the hole, which I'll show you the hole in a minute. The reason for the hole is the battery blew up in the back of it and got acid all down in this corner. And the acid started eating away at the aluminum. So, I've already started to clean it a little bit down here, but you can see that hole's completely rotten. And then there's another hole right there that's also rotted. And then it looks like he's starting to get some rot right along in through here. Not sure if that's the acid that caused that or if that's just the aluminum getting some corrosion on it, but either way, we're probably gonna touch up all those spots down here we're going to end up cutting out a plate and plating this whole thing all the way to this rib right here. Actually we'll probably have to go past the rib just a little bit. That way uh, we can get some decent material to weld to. But um, let's get started. So we got it cleaned up pretty good down here. A lot of this is just dust that you can see kind of makes it look a little worse than what it is. But anyhow, there's our big hole that we're working with. And there's the little one up there. But now I've got my uh, tape measure and notepad here. I'm gonna go ahead and measure how wide and how long of a piece of aluminum that we need. And uh, then I'll take it over to my CNC plasma table. We'll punch those numbers in and go ahead and cut out a piece of uh, 090 aluminum. And then we're gonna take it over to the brake and break this little lip on it. Try to get it fit in there good and start tacking it up. All right guys, so we're over here now at the uh, computer. I've drawn the part up for the bottom and saved it. Next step is I had to upload it into my drawing program that uh, tells the table how to cut it. So we've already done that. And last thing is we put it into this program here and this is uh, what actually operates the table itself. So you can see here, John Boat Patch up here in the corner. And over there is my part. Here's the sheet of aluminum we're gonna be cutting it out of. So now what I'm gonna do is, uh, which I've already zeroed it out where it's supposed to start at. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit start. Very nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take and blow this off, get all the water off of it, clean up any kind of burr that could be on it from cutting, and then we'll take it out to my brake. And about 9 16 from this edge here, we're going to break it to, uh, I believe it's a 90. Let me look at the boat again. Uh, yes, it's going to be a 90 that we're going to break it to. And that will allow it to, when we break it, it'll allow it to sit on the bottom and 
on this uh, rib here. All right, so I took my uh, piece of aluminum out to the brake, and before I'd done that, I actually put an angle finder on this uh, bottom here, and it was 80 degrees from the rib to the actual bottom of the boat. So I put an 80 degree bend on this uh, piece of aluminum. Let's see how well it fits. Man, that's perfect. That'll weld up real nice. The only thing I didn't take into account for, which I knew I was gonna have to do this anyhow, but I didn't do it whenever I drew the part up on the computer. I need to uh, take and cut a little bit off of this back corner because this rib here is like angled at a 45 at the back. So I'm just gonna take my pencil and throw a little mark on that so I know how to, or where to cut it. And then once we get that cut and cleaned up, We'll probably put a little like wooden wedge on the boat trailer and push it up against the bottom of the boat. So that way it holds our piece nice and tight. And then we'll get the welding machine out and uh, we'll start putting a couple tacks on it to hold it in place. And then from there, if we're happy with it, we'll go ahead and weld it out. Right, guys we're back a couple hours later finally got this thing done um we had a heck of a storm come through a little while ago and with the front of the uh boat sticking out of the shop it got slapped full of water and it was dripping out of the back real heavy i actually had to put a um piece of angle down here to try to direct the water that way instead of right here where i was laying trying to weld that spot up but uh huh, hence the name of the boat storm rider yep anyhow we got it all welded up pretty happy with the outcome it um turned out fairly well all we got to do now is uh clean it up a little bit throw some paint on it and i call this project done guys again thanks for watching if you're already subscribed to the channel we definitely appreciate it Keep following us and watching them videos. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like. We appreciate it.